Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I am showing you guys a video on how to modify your um, manual transmission to be able to um, start safely. Uh, I learned a very, very, very tough lesson here where um, this was in gear. I started the car. The car pretty much just ran into my garage. Um, so I put some safety precautions on this to um, prevent that from happening again um, by adding this um, magnetic switch here so pretty much when it's in first gear it's going to hit this magnet here um, this is a normally closed um, circuit so whenever it hits the magnet it's going to open up the circuit um, which um, in this case would, would disengage my neutral safety switch and then if it's in reverse um, it'll do the same thing when it hits this uh, magnet so um, this right here, this whole circuit's connected down here um, to the neutral safety switch. So if you look up here, there's a yellow pin, a uh, yellow connector that I have it hooked up to. Um, and uh, most installers won't install a um, remote start into a annual transmission car just because... Uh, it's a big liability. You can run into people, you can run into other cars. Um, and uh, Viper, uh, which is what I have right now, the DS4 Plus, um, has a procedure for you to install it in a manual car, but it's, it's very tedious once you get out of the car in order for it to start it the next time. Um, so that's why I put this in place. So the car actually thinks it's automatic. Before I did all this, I actually just had the um, neutral safety switch um, uh, just jumped so the two wires connect it um, so you can always start the car with uh, uh, without depressing the clutch so the example I'm going to show you right now is so right now it's in neutral it's going to allow me to start the car up and then um, if uh, this was in gear I won't be able to start the car. And if I was in the reverse, it would be the same situation here. I won't be able to start the car. But once I have it back to neutral, I'm able to start again. So this is exactly um, what I need it because uh, um, I don't want to run into anything again. That was a very, very lengthy and expensive process. Um, and um, with that being said, it's the same for remote start. Right now, if I were to start it in neutral, I'll start. And you can see right here that it's not in gear. So I'm gonna stop it. And I'm gonna put the car in gear and you can see that I won't be able to start it now. It's going to attempt to start, but it won't. So eventually it's just going to shut down. There is one caveat. The caveat is the way I have it set up here, if it was in third or fourth gear, it could still start. But um, normally people only leave it in first or reverse because that's the last gear that you're going to be in. Um, some situations may be second gear, but in, in very, very low speed situations, um, when you're parking, you tend to leave it. I always leave it in neutral, but last time I forgot and that's exactly what happened. So I hope this video helps you with this magnet switch. And All right. And as you can see, the car has been, um, buttoned back up and, uh, I hope you guys learned something from this video and uh, hope the folks that um, want to do a remote start on their um, manual transmission car has uh, learned something from this. Thank you.